Hi everyone, I'm Clayton. I'm the founder of Kickass Products, Power Your Adventure. I love DC Power. Started out playing with CB radios as a kid. And I think a lot of you may have seen my ultimate dual battery system video. It's seven years old. I got busy, I got distracted, and now I'm back making videos again. And what's the first one that everyone wants to hear about? Lithium versus AGM. Now this video is for the normal people. Right? It's, there's going to be tech heads out there because a lot of people like to argue on technical specifications and that kind of thing. Haters are going to hate. Leave your comments below. Love to hear them. This is for the normal people. Like I was at the pub with mates and they said, hey, Clates, what's the difference? So some of the information I give isn't going to be precise to the last measurement, but it's going to give you an overview of why you would choose either type of battery. First thing, AGM batteries. An excellent choice up until recent times. It's 2023, ladies and gentlemen, and lithium has made its way to the world. AGMs were great, just like nickel, nickel cadmium batteries were great to run your Walkman. And they still have some uses, and there's, there's arguments for some situations where some people may want to use them. But let me give you the lowdown for our industry, which is the camping and RV and installations in utes and that kind of thing, even the marine industry. They're heavy. Look at them. That's the first thing, where lithium, look at my little finger here, it's light. So that's your first starting point. The second thing is, when you have an AGM battery or a lead acid deep cycle battery, if you want the thing to last a long time, if you over discharge it, or if you overcharge it, or if you don't treat it well, you're gonna kill it. And it's been a great industry. It was like the old light bulbs before LEDs. You keep going back and buying them again. Retailers loved it you can add protection. You can buy devices for them, such as which we have, which is our battery guard that will stop you from being able to over discharge the battery. But you have to pay for them. Let's talk about amp hours quickly, just to get started. What is an amp hour? So if I had a bucket of water that was 100 litres of water, okay, and this is very generic, like I said, but we'd call that 100 amp hours, okay, just for example. If I take one litre of water per hour out, then I can run it for 100 hours. So if I have a 120 amp hour AGM, we would all think that I can run that battery for 120 hours. But the way I like to explain it to my mates is yes, with an AGM battery, you can draw all of the power out of it, but the more power you draw out of it, it's called depth of discharge, over time, that if you use all of the power every time when you're cycling it, you shorten the life. A little bit like going out and having a glass of wine every night, which is discharging a little bit, versus being Bon Scott from ACDC and drinking a whole bottle of scotch every night. You're not gonna last as long. If you want your AGM battery to last for a long time, you really don't wanna discharge it more than around 50%. So if you had a 120 amp hour battery, you can only really use half of that, which would be 60 amps. So if you want the full 120, you would need two batteries. Whereas with a lithium battery, you can use all of the capacity and the battery will last years and years and years and years. And it's almost half the weight. So if you needed two batteries and they were roughly 30 kilos each, that would be 60 kilos to get that 120 versus around 15, to 17 kilos for the same amount of usable capacity in a lithium. So the weight is a massive, massive advantage. And you don't need to buy two AGM batteries, you only need to buy one lithium. So that's the thing that people really don't quite get. They think, I'll just get an AGM because it's cheaper, but it's gonna last like a quarter of the time. And they have to buy two of them if they want it to last even half as long as a lithium. So you're buying two AGM batteries, but then there's no protection. You can still over discharge, overcharge the battery, unless you go and buy other devices to protect the AGMs. And the thing that a lot of people don't really see when they look at the two, they both, if you look at the batteries, they both, they're both just in a case, right? But you don't see that inside of a lithium battery, I'll open it this way, you've got all this technology built in. And one part of the technology that people don't really see that is actually quite expensive is the BMS. And this is an example of the BMS. 
So the BMS is a battery management system and it performs lots of different functions. I'll start with the fact that it will protect the battery from being over discharged. It'll protect the battery from being overcharged. It has temperature sensors. They also have Bluetooth so on some models so you can connect an app and see what's going on. And there's a whole bunch of other functionalities that you get by having a BMS built in. So now you start to see the value of lithium. One lithium battery at 120 is equivalent to two AGMs. But on top of that, you get included a battery management system as well. And we'll do more videos getting deeper. I'm trying to keep it simple. So that's inside to protect the battery. It's a little bit technical, but with a AGM battery, you can measure how much power is left in a roundabout way by the voltage. Because as an AGM battery discharges, the, the voltage goes down in a curve like this. So it goes from 13 to 12.9 to 12.8. And when you get to, depending on the battery, 10.5 volts-ish, the battery's flat. So you can just use a voltmeter, but it's still a pretty rough way of measuring power. An interesting thing with a lithium battery is it actually holds its voltage for a long time. It only reduces a tiny little bit, and then at the end, the voltage drops off. And that's why a voltmeter isn't going to give you an accurate gauge. So if you think about a petrol station, they measure how much fuel goes in from the fuel tanker, and then when you pump the fuel out, they know how much fuel's been taken out. And that will let the petrol station know, for example, how much fuel is left in the tank. And a BMS does that. It will calculate how much power is going in, how much power is going out, and it will give you what's called a state of charge. And that's why it's so important to have a BMS with your lithium battery, because it will actually let you know how much power is remaining in the battery. So this is a BMS. We'll do more videos about them, but they're amazing devices. Um, one other thing that I will tell you about them, BMSs, they're not all made the same. You can look at this one's got a very big uh, heat sink on the back to get rid of heat. Um, and there's different BMSs that we use and others use in different batteries, but it's a place that people can take shortcuts and make the batteries cheaper. And that's because power has to flow through. So the more power flowing through a BMS, the, the bigger the BMS you're going to need. So some suppliers will only make one that can have 50 amps or 50 liters per hour drawn through the BMS, others can take 100 per hour. So you've always got to check that when you're buying a lithium battery because people can put a very small or cheap BMS in there that won't be able to handle that power output. So yeah, check out our videos to learn more about BMSs, but they're a fantastic device and it really is the reason that your battery is protected and you're going to get years and years and years of life out of your lithium battery. And that brings up the safety. The safety of lithium batteries is a highly debated topic. And yes, in the early days before what we use, LIFEPO, L-I-F-E-P-O-4 cells, which are very, very safe, there were different chemistries. And because it was new, just like electric cars, you think about the Teslas or whatever, one Tesla car catches on fire and the world knows about it. But every day, petrol cars catch on fire, right? Or de more likely petrols. So, you know, there was a whole heap of media hype about that. Think about it with Tesla. The first auto driving car crashes and it hits the news, but cars, normal cars crash every day. So there was this whole thing about lithium not being safe. It's not true. Lithium is super safe now. And especially if you're buying from somebody like us, who's a reputable uh, brand that's been around for a long time and wants to keep its customers, not some fly by night, no name, super cheap brand with a cheap BMS and cheap cells that have been recycled, you know, and, and used again in batteries. Because look, a lot of customers don't, don't know what happens inside of here. The cheap BMS goes in here. Sometimes uh, they'll use recycled battery cells and all that kind of stuff. So batteries are safe now. And especially if you buy from a reputable brand like us, at kick ass and i'm not saying there aren't other reputable brands but you must make sure you always buy from somebody who's reputable because it is an investment and you're putting it inside of one of your investments as well don't worry about the safety of lithium anymore lithium and lifepo4 lifepo4 batteries specifically are very safe batteries